In this video, we are going to discuss Power BI interview questions. What is Power BI? Power BI is a business intelligence and data visualization tool which helps to convert data from various data sources into interactive dashboards and Power BI reports. It provides multiple software connectors and services. Just imagine an image can speak thousand unspoken words. Just by showing an image, even a layman can understand what it says. Rather than summarizing the reports in Word or Excel, making a chart out of it can be an easy way of representing it. That is the main reason why we use a visualization tool like Power BI. Difference between dashboard and report. Report is a feature of Power BI which is a result of visualized data from a single data set. A report can have multiple pages of visualization. A dashboard is used to visualize the strategic data of one or multiple reports in a glance. What are the advantages of Power BI? It integrates well with existing applications, existing applications in the sense it can uh, integrate with Excel, then PDF formats and many files. It contains rich and personalized dashboards, publishing reports in a secure way. Suppose you have created your dashboards with multiple reports in it and you want to share it across with your client or your stakeholders. It provides a secure way, extracting business intelligence rapidly and accurately. What is DASK? DASK stands for Data Analysis Expressions. It is used for creating expressions and formulas and is a library of functions and operators. What are the features of DASK? Task is a collection of functions and operators which can be used in formulas to calculate one or more values. It is all about creating new information from data that already exists in your model. Suppose for instance, you have a model with certain data like profit or bonus. Suppose you want to add 5% to your bonus. It, you can easily create another column by creating bonus values incremented or you can keep any name that you wanted. Then you can map the column with profit and you can multiply or add any values and create a new column to it. What are the different task functions? Aggregation functions, counting functions, logical functions, information functions, text functions and date functions. What is call function? Call is a correlation function that provides correlation between two distinct variables ranging from minus 1 to 1. Yes, as it says, the value of call function ranges from minus 1 to 1, representing minus 1 as negatively correlated and 1 as positively correlated. And in between values will be minus 0.25 will be a weak negative correlation and minus 0.75 will be intermediate negative correlation whereas 0 will be no correlation 0.25 will be weak positive correlation and 0.75 will be intermediate positive correlation how to group different columns existing in a data set grouping the columns of a data set can be achieved using summarize Suppose, for instance, you have a column with many states. For example, we can take our south region. We have Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Karnataka, Telangana and Andhra Pradesh. Suppose you want to group them based on Tamil Nadu or Andhra or Karnataka or any state maybe. You can use the summarize functions to group based on particular region. What is the difference between sum and sum x? Sum function takes the column of data and aggregate it and will give the total. SUMX function returns the sum of an expression evaluated for each row in a table. What is calculated column? It can be defined as calculating expression of task where the data in a row is used to calculate and store in new column. What are the important components of Power BI toolkit and what do they do? The important components of Power BI Toolkit are Power Query, Power Pivot, Power View, Power Map, and Power Q&A. Let's see one by one. Power Query. It allows you to discover, access, and consolidate information from different sources. Power Pivot. It is a modeling tool. 
Power View. It is a representation tool for creating charts, tables, and more. Power Map helps you to create geosceptical representation of your data. Power Q and A allows you to use natural language to get answers to your questions. What are data alerts? Alert work on data that is refreshed. When data is refreshed, BI looks for an alert and if it reaches the alert or threshold limit, then the alert will be triggered. Suppose for instance, you have your graphs ready and you want to see, suppose if the profit or some data points go below certain point. For instance, we can take, suppose the graph having multiple data, if it goes below 5, then you should get an alert indicating that this should be taken care of. So you can set an alert to certain thresholds and you can get that alert so that you will be notified that certain points has gone down certain limits or certain points has gone down or gone above certain limits. What is data source filter? It is a parameter to filter data before loading into machines. Suppose for instance, you are loading your data into Power BI and all the columns will not be required while making visualizations. So while loading the data itself, you can filter which are all the columns required or which are all the regions required. You can filter those data before moving into visualization part. What is the language used in Power Query Editor? Power Query uses M language. It is a programming language and is case sensitive. Like many other programming language, this Power BI uses M language. There are many programming languages which are case sensitive. Case sensitive in the sense small a and caps a, both are different. Suppose if you give a and d in a small lower case, and if you give caps a and small n, small d, both are different. That is what we call it as case sensitive. What is custom visuals? Graphs or visuals which are not available in Power BI are imported from market for better visualization. Yes, there are many graphs in Power BI, but still, if you want some other graph that is not present in Power BI, you can look for it in market and you can import those graphs into Power BI and you can do your visualization part. What is the difference between distinct and values in DAS? The distinct and values are same, but distinct calculates the null values also. What are null values? Null values are nothing but we call it as missing values or any values, the data that is not available. What is difference between max and max a functions? If the calculation is for numeric values, then use max function. If it is for non-numeric values, then use max a function. What is what if parameter in Power BI? When we wanted to see the visuals based on a scenario, the best way is to use what if parameter. It could help us with forecasting data and do an advanced analytics. For example, we can take, if we set up the discount of a product from what if parameter from 1 to 10 or 1 to 20, users can change the values and see the changes in sales, profit, margin, revenue, etc., which helps in detailed analytics. What are three important tasks in creating dashboards in Power BI? Make sure the proper relationship between tables, data modeling according to the requirement, creating reports with suitable graphs which make sense. You can pass any data to charts. It will display some meaningful or some non-meaningful visualizations. But our main objective is to create suitable graphs that make sense. Suppose you cannot drop a graph which requires a bar chart to a line chart. It will give you some representation but it will not be meaningful. So we should take care of what data we pass it to what graph so it gives us a meaningful result. What is difference between filter and slicer? By using the normal filters, user cannot interact with the reports or dashboard but with slicers, user can have an interaction with reports or dashboards. What is content pack? Content pack can have dashboards, report, and relevant databases which can be shared across to clients. The main aim of creating a visualization is to share with someone like our stakeholders or our clients or our senior managers or to someone. That is the main reason why we create visuals and this content pack helps you to share these visuals or dashboards that you created across your clients or your stakeholders. 
What is embed code? There is an option in Power BI which will generate a link address for the Power BI report. This link can be shared across to clients. Yes, embed code will create a link. So you can share that link with your clients or stakeholders for them to visualize the data or the maps that you have created. What is filter function? It is a function which allows you to manipulate data to create dynamic calculations. What are three fundamental views in report improvement window? Relationship view, data modeling view, and report view. What is difference between visual level filters, page level filters, and report level filters? Visual level filters filter data within a single visualization. Page level filters work on an entire page in a report, and different pages can have different filters. Report level filters filter all the visualizations and pages in the report. How do you hide and unhide a specific report in Power BI? In the menu bar, choose selection pane and hide slash unhide the reports and the action to pass to bookmark. Not all the reports that you create are required for your visualization. There may be some reports that you might have created for your understanding. Those reports need not be added to final dashboards so you can at any point hide or unhide your reports that are already created. What are the KPIs in Power BI? KPI is a key performance indicator which evaluates the organization's performance in distinct areas by evaluating measurable goals and values. The KPIs helps to evaluate the analysis performance within their graphical representation. Thus. KPI will show whether your goals have been met or not. What is role level security? Role level security restricts the data that users view and access based on filters. However, to enable role level security, a Power BI Pro subscription account is essential and Excel sheets can be used when converted to the .pbix file format. Suppose for instance, you're creating a visualization for region wise. Okay, all regional managers need not look into all the other regions like uh, states, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Andhra, every state. So you are creating separate visualization. Tamil Nadu region manager wants to look into only Tamil Nadu graph, right? And Andhra, he wants to look into only Andhra related filters. So you can select who wants to see what so that it will be essential and you can create a security level also so that others cannot see other contents of your visualizations. What is the perfect of get data icon in Power BI? When users in Power BI click on the icon get data, a drop down menu appears displaying all data sources from which data can be ingested. Data can directly get ingested from any sources such as files in Excel, XML, PDF, JSON, CSV and SharePoint folder databases and formats such as SQL, SQL Server Analysis Services, IBM, Access, Oracle, MySQL and much more. What is the use of split function? The split function is used for splitting the string database on a given delimiter. Suppose for instance, we have column name. Okay. It has first name and last name. Suppose you want only the first name. What you can do is you can use the split function to split only the first part of it. And what delimiter specifies is delimiters are nothing but a separator. If it is separated by space or comma or semicolon, that comma, space or semicolon represents the delimiter. Hope this video was helpful. Thank you.